is one of the worst things I've had to do as a doctor, the story of the prolonged stiffy. It was one of my last shifts in the emergency room before I left for surgery and it was a spicy one. I'm about to see a young man who's hunched over in pain and covering his groin with a towel. It looks like he's trying to hide a boner, can't be. Well, it was. The man tells me he's taken one too many Viagra pills and now he's had a boner he can't get rid of for five hours. He said he's tried everything to get rid of it, peeing, running, bashing the bishop, but his flag kept flying at full mast. On the outside, I try to keep calm, but on the inside, I'm worried. Any erection lasting longer than two hours is bad news. This type of prolonged erection is known as priapism. The longer this happens for the greater risk of tissue damage to the devil's clarinet because blood can't drain out and the cells become starved of oxygen. This can damage the tissues of the pen 15 causing erectile dysfunction or worse. First I explain to him the bad news and then I tell him the good news which is actually more bad news. I explain that in order to save his gherkin I need to stick a needle into it and take out some blood. What I essentially have to do is insert a small butterfly needle attached to a syringe into his corpus cavernosum. These are the two cylinders that fill with blood during an erection that causes the rigidity. I have to aspirate or remove the blood to get rid of the boner. This is called detumescence. After lots of jumping and screaming, we managed to get rid of his marathon boner and save his pen 15. Doctors are often accused of not being empathetic, but this time I felt it. Maybe not as much as him.